Ricky Tikki Tavi by Rudyard Kipling. Nature read in tooth and claw. Introduction. Ricky Tikki Tavi by Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling lived in India for some of his life, and a large part of his work was taken directly from his time there. Perhaps his best-known story is about Mowgli, a boy raised by wolves in the jungle. Mowgli is just one story included in The Jungle Book, which contains several other stories, along with some songs and poems. Ricky Tikki Tavi is another story from this book. It is the story of a great war. A great war that has been fought for thousands of years, and it is a war between the mongoose and the cobra. The cobra is a kind of snake. It is big and fast and full of venom in its fangs. The mongoose is a furry animal that is quick and good at biting and jumping. Mongooses and cobras have been at war for a very long time. This is not the story of the whole war. It is just the story of one battle. I chose this story for the Little Seabird channel because I like the simple and direct nature of the story and how Ricky Tikki is so brave even when he is in great danger. By all means, make use of the closed captions I have included. Furthermore, any and all constructive comments, whether they are suggestions for the channel itself or perhaps opinions about the content of the book, are very welcome. It's going to be very exciting with lots of action and scary bits, so cuddle up and get ready for the thrills. I hope you enjoyed this excerpt from Ricky Tikki Tavi by Rudyard Kipling. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends either directly or on social media as you prefer. Better still, subscribe to this channel so that you A, never miss a new episode and B, can watch multiple episodes back to back without interruption. However, if you actually found the background of most interest, please visit the Low Call channel to learn more about the location used for this episode. Alternatively, you may want to check out some of our other channels, which feature other book genres. Obviously, whether you really loved it, aren't quite sure, or honestly found the whole thing a total turn-off, then please write a comment so that we know what needs improvement next time. With all that said, we do look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode, so until next week, bye bye.